If someone was watching on the streets of Amsterdam in 1942, they would have seen a family with three daughters playing in the street. The youngest was named Willy. She was just two years old. My name was Wilhelmina van der Zeden. I remember playing with the kids on the street. I accepted the family as my mother and father, and the two children that they had were my sisters. And it, to me, it was as normal as it could be. But things weren't normal. Things were much different than they appeared. During that time, you must remember that Holland was an occupied country, and things for everyone was, were difficult. The children who appeared to be her sisters were anything but, and the people she called mom and dad weren't even related to her. I joined as the third daughter when I was about two, and I stayed there till I was uh, six. But to figure out how that little girl got there, you have to go even farther back in time, before 1942, before the Nazis invaded the Netherlands during World War II. The little girl who thought her name was Wilhelmina von der Zaden didn't even know her real last name. My name at birth was Wilhelmina de Kat, and I was a hidden child during World War II in the Netherlands. I never was taken to a concentration camp. I don't have numbers tattooed on my wrist, but nevertheless, I suffered many of the consequences of being hidden, of having my identity as a Jew hidden from the Nazis. Wilhelmina de Kat, now Willy Julen, was a victim of the Holocaust. And though she didn't die as millions others did in the concentration camps, her life was taken in a different way. Her parents, her childhood, even her religious identity were taken from her as a hidden child of the Holocaust. Young Willie lived life like a normal child, thinking that her hiding family was her real family, even though adding a two-year-old could appear odd to outsiders. They explained away my presence in their household to the neighbors by saying that I was a cousin. She tried to blend in with her hidden family, and though she was born Jewish, she was raised as a Catholic and went to church. I wasn't hidden literally like Anne Frank was hidden. They were hidden in the attic and they couldn't go out for about two years. When the war ended, Willie was reunited with her grandmother, who decided that she would take Willie and her brother to America. And that was when she learned of her parents' fate. My parents were taken to Auschwitz. They didn't stay there very long, but they were murdered, and that's the only word I can use is murdered, shortly after their arrival, where I'm sure their fate was what was typical in Auschwitz, where they were murdered in the gas chambers. The things that people had to do to keep Willie from the same fate must have been hard. But sometimes the right things to do are the hardest. And as for Willie, though she has gotten older, her loss hasn't faded. And still to this day, when people, friends of mine, talk about their mothers, I am very quiet because I have nothing to talk about. But Willie can count herself as one of the survivors of the Holocaust, who was lucky to be with us to tell her story. I feel it very important because these children and now people of my generation are getting older and I feel it's very important to chronicle this because we won't be here that much longer. And again, we must never forget that this did happen. World War II was the deadliest war in history, killing over 50 million people around the world. Of the six million Jews killed in the Holocaust, one million were children. But thousands of children like Willie survived because of the people who risked everything to stand against hatred.